Right everyone, Rev Clip here. Right, I got a request from Shed Ninja. He said about doing a... Could I show some of the projects I'm working on? So... I'm only working on a couple of things at the minute. So what I thought I'd do is show you some of the designs I've got that I will be doing eventually. The only two things I'm really working on at the minute are the medieval crossbow which I haven't touched for ages. That is just still the stock cut out basically. Uh, and the bar mace that I was going to make. They're all half made. I'm still going to do them. It was just getting. There was a stage where I just didn't want to do anything like that. I just. I got fed up with making things for some reason. But I've started getting into it again now. I don't know why. I just. I was just getting pissed off of things. And it may have been because of my ear. I had a bad ear for ages. Most of this year. I've been keep going to the hospital back and forward. And I didn't know if whether the dust and that could have been affecting it. Which I found out it's not now. You know. Um. So yeah, what I'll do in a minute, I'll, if I can get some pictures, I'll just show you the pictures of the um, crossbow and the barb mace, they'll probably just be cut from the other videos, but what I'll do, I'll do a tabletop, like how I do my reviews, and I'll show you my designs and talk about them, because there's, there may be some old designs that you've seen from the other video I did about my designs I've done of stuff, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple of new ones in there, so the next part of this just be a top down video of me showing you my box of designs right so this is my little box of stuff that I design stuff you know used to design stuff what you're seeing here are some very basic drawings and writing and the sort of more basic it is that means it was just the first idea to it and then the more I develop the idea, the better the picture will be, and it will be the finished picture of it. So some of it will be very rough, like I said, because it was just the very first idea for that thing. So that's just a moment it's both. For... So this was, I was designing, when I was doing my pride bars, I was trying to think of some different ideas. And one of the ideas I came up with was a pry bar with a removable axe head you just put on and off with the two bolts and I had a hollow handle so you put like a survival kit in there and then here was another couple of ideas down there never made one of those the only problem with these is the drilling the holes because these are hardened pry bars it's hard to drill the holes so that stopped me pretty much making those but it was an idea this was the beginning idea to a double barreled crossbow which I still may do but this was just the very first ideas to it you can see both the roller nuts there the bolts would be along there and that's where the prods would be so one bolt would come out here and one bolt would come out there there's the trigger for that one. But yeah, that was just the very, very first ideas for that. Still needs a lot of developing. Need to work out the trigger for the top barrel and all stuff like that. But that was just, like I said, that was just an idea. Sellable mini swing targets. When I, when I write things as bad as that, that's just me scribbling it down to just have a quick... You know, just so it's written. Sometimes I don't even finish off the words. As long as it makes sense to me. This was a very, very basic idea for a pistol crossbow. I'd seen something similar. And you'll actually see the finished design later. Or a nearly finished design. cross-section of one of my pry bars and the size crossbow trigger idea I 
Hobo fishing kit. Hobo kit, gun kit stock. Uh, that's something I'm still going to do. I may have to do that soon. Where you uh, drill a hole into your stock of your gun and then you put some old kit in it. And then that is a hobo fishing priest. Where you can. This is a section of like steel pipe where you can put stuff in it. That is that is so that you could have a catapult on the end of it. Little idea for a spiked pommel for a torch. See some things I just do a little basic thing like that and then the ideas as long as the idea has been put down on something, I can come back and even if it's a very basic idea, at least I know what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> you know. This was an idea for a a sheath on a knife that had a catapult at the bottom. Just a very basic, you know, it was just putting it down just so I had an idea of what I was thinking. What's it say? Try it with a more... Uh... Yeah, and then possibly one of the designs, it had holes, so you could use the, the end of the catapult for the leg tie of your leg. Another pommel for a torch. And this is sort of like a spiked one, similar to, you know, a, um, a little mallet thing you use for hitting meat. I can't remember what they're called, no, a tenderizer. And they have those little spikes on. Thinking about something like that. This is the end for my Commando 2, Barnet Commando 2 crossbow. This is the end I'm going to do for it. So that I could put a recurve prod on it, so that I can use it again. Uh, just very basic, but, uh, but not that this is well, this is the finished idea, and then I would just cut this out and then make it out of aluminium. Measurements on stick, learning to steal it. This was for a sort of survival walking stick. This is the plan for one of my survival crossbows. I think this is the one I didn't make. I had two designs, and one I've made and one I haven't made. At the end of this is missing some for some reason. This should have another part here, it's been ripped off. But that is a hole in the stock to put a survival kit in. You've got a thumb hole stock, very big trigger. That whole entire bit there is the trigger. And that is if you had a damaged hand, you could still just pull it up with even a bandaged hand. You know, that's the bit to hold the bolt down. That may still get made. I did actually make one of my survival crossbows there. Yeah, so this is a couple of. This was a ice scraper with a bottle opener and a bottle opener with an ice breaker, you know, like an ice pick. So you could break off ice and then put it in your beer. But due to laws changing in the UK, those probably won't be able to be done now. So good designs, but something that'll have to just go in the, the bin now. Next is a another pry bar axe made from you can see what the axe idea was it was the actual axe head is made from a like a T section and the T section there is what makes the hammer head and that is just bolted on with a hollow handle and again I may make it but I've never got around to it yet but it, the idea is there this was an idea for a sort of survival torch with an anti-slip grip, a belt cutter and a glass breaker. And the glass breaker is made with a hardened Phillips screwdriver head. So it's also a screwdriver and you put different screwdriver heads in it. Well, that was just a, an idea. I don't know if that would ever get made. Again, with the laws changing now, they might try to 
class that as a knuckle duster because it's a ring over your fingers. I, you know, I don't really know. But, um, yeah. There's something I'd design that, you know, may or may not get done. This was the designs for the... Oh, God, I can't remember what this is called now. But it was a type of crossbow that works with springs and elastic and moving arms. Malcolm's made a version before. And they're good. And I may do one again eventually. But, uh... It's just getting around to it because there's a lot of moving parts in it. Basically, those arms... When you pull the string back, here's the string here. When you pull the string back this way, these arms come in and pull out these springs here. And then they're level. And it's the springs that shoot the bolt out. I'll, I'll, if I can, I'll just put a bit of video in for that as well. Yeah, I will. Um, here's a little, just a weird L section knife that I thought would be good and it'd be something unusual there's one of the pride bars there pride bar designs this one would have had a blade on the side there there's actually a commercial knife similar to that and then that's a saw back and then the bottle opener tin opener screwdriver and sharpened hook of my design that is just a very basic roller nut idea. Here's that crossbar I was on about, the pistol crossbar that said you'd see the finished design. But this will get made eventually. Yeah, I've seen something similar and I like the look of it so I thought I'd make something myself similar. Wouldn't involve a lot of work. Couple of pry bars there. Pry bar designs. Design carbine crossbow. Oh, and then that side is a. What I'm thinking of doing is making pre made crossbow trigger blocks. It's just a, you know, like a pre made crossbow trigger. That you can insert into a stock that you make yourself because a lot of the things people have trouble making is the triggers this was a couple of ideas for stuff that i was going to do and this here is a swinging imagine that's like a sawhorse type rig sort of thing and that is a four by two with a round plate and a weight on it and then you swing it and then that is your shooting target so you've got a nice moving target a couple of the other things, just, just random things. And then lastly, is just some details where I was working out the the draw length and that for the carbine crossbow I'm going to do. I want to make a I want to make a decent carbine crossbow that is a lot more powerful than a pistol crossbow, but not quite as powerful as a well, more powerful than a pistol crossbow and smaller with a rifle crossbow. So yeah, that was basically it. That is some of the stuff I'm working on. Well, that I've got designs on. None of it's been started yet, really. But a lot of it I want to do. It's just getting the motivation to do it and the stuff to do it. A lot of the stuff I haven't got the stuff to do. But I have got the wood now to make some of these crossbows. Or at least one or two of them. So yeah, that's it, really. That was just some of my ideas that go on there is more than that but these are the stuff that i've actually drawn some of the designs to i've got a whole book of stuff that i want to make but some of them have literally got no plans i want to make some aluminium crossbow uh, not crossbow some aluminium catapults just for something to do what's the other things i don't know those things all right I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it interesting, if you ever want to support this channel you can by either Patreon or if you shop at Gearbest or Amazon.com, if you go through my links below, 
and buy stuff, there's a I'll get a small percentage of what you spend, like ten percent or something. Ten percent at most anyway. And then you can support this channel and you don't really have to do anything that way, that way. But the Patreon and all that and all those links are below if you're interested. Alright? See you later.